Good morning, Westfield High School. Today is Wednesday, November 15th, 2023. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, WHS, and welcome to BDTV. I'm Justin Rickey. And I'm Ruby Saltzman. Students going on the Kane University trip tomorrow, please meet in cafe at 745. Bus leaves at 8 a.m. The Community Service Club is collecting non-perishable food for the New Jersey Food Bank. Items can include pasta and canned food. Please consider donating to those in need. They are also collecting extra lunches tomorrow for the Salvation Army. Please include a sandwich, snack, fruit, and beverage and drop them off in the bin at the main entrance. Thank you for your support. Salutan WHS, the world famous Esperanto Club will be meeting tomorrow. The Esperanto Club will be discussing plans for the upcoming school year and goals they want to accomplish. The meeting will take place after school in room 254. The Asian Diversity Club will be meeting tomorrow in room 190 directly after school. They will be discussing plans for an upcoming art show. All new members are welcome. The Project Glimmer Club will be having their first meeting tomorrow in room 188 right after school. They will be going over a short presentation about their, what their club is about and plans for the year. All are welcome. WHS students and staff, please check your emails from the SGA to sign up to compete in the pep rally events and participate in the student flag football game. The Mental Health Awareness Club will be meeting this Monday after school in the Zen Den. New members are always welcome. The dance team will have practice today, the 15th, right after school in Cafeteria A. Practice will end by 4. If you cannot attend, please contact Ms. Gosen Fowler in room 119. The Spanish Club will be having their second club meeting tomorrow in Cafeteria B. They'll be preparing for homecoming and pep rally festivities. This Saturday, the Westfield Police Department takes on the Fire Department in a flag football tournament. The winner advances to play the students. The scan the, co scan the co code to get your tickets. Gates open at 1 and the game starts at 1.30 at Keller. All proceeds go towards Westfield, Westfield PBA and FMBA. Senior Tech Buddies is having a meeting today, right after school in room 130. They will be discussing major changes in the high school pep rally. The Westfield Indoor Color Guard is seeking new members for its 2024 season that begins in December. Indoor, indoor Color Guard is an athletic performing art that combines dance, music, and theater. You don't need to be a dancer or performer, but if you are or were in the past, you'll love returning to your happy place in a fun, high energy, and inclusive environment. There will be two open sessions on Monday, November 20th and 27th from 6 to 9 p.m. in CAF B. Anyone interested in trying Color Guard or learning more about Indoor Guard can attend. There are no cuts. Everyone is included and placed based on skill. See Mr. Vitali in the band room with any questions. Lost and found items not claimed before the Thanksgiving break will be donated. Please check the main office for keys, jewelry, glasses, AirPods, and more. There is also a bin in the main lobby with sweatshirts, jackets, bags, left by parents that students did not pick up. Please take a look. You may find something you didn't know you lost. If you play basketball, winter track, or wrestling for WHS and qualify for PE exemption and want to use it, fill out the form on the athletics or PE website. The deadline is November 27th. If you become exempt later in the marking period, you must apply now to qualify. Any questions should be directed at your PE teacher, Ms. Torok, or your counselor. The WHS Theater Department's Fall Play opens tomorrow at 4 p.m. Antigone is the final play of the class's Edifice Trilogy written in 441 B.C. However, this modern adaptation of Sophocles' best-known Greek tragedy is set in current times and spoken in modern English. In addition to the many actors performing on stage, the many technicians have been hard at work backstage. Quinn Walpole tells us more. The Winning Theater Department is preparing for their first shows of the 2023-2024 school year. These incredible shows would not be possible without the help of many amazing crews. I am the head of set design, so I help build, construct, and paint all of the sets. I design the posters, the playbills, and basically all the advertising that goes out. So I coordinate um, all of the student crews, and I like uh, kind of run everything, and I also call lighting and sound cues. For our last show that we did, Sunday in the Park with George, we had to dot the entire set with all of these different colored painted dots and it took forever but it turned out absolutely beautiful and it looked like a pointillized painting. During Mamma Mia, we had a light up floor that we were able to control from our computers and make like any color we want. I love, um, you know, making the environment seem 
just like how it is on set and I also love doing graphic design so I love uh, promoting the show and making my own little twist on it. Learning technical trades that I wouldn't learn elsewhere and also being a part of a show and making new friends. I love getting to be creative and I love getting to talk to other people who are also creative and I love just seeing everything come to life and come together. I feel really good. I feel like it's going to be a really great show and I'm super excited for a lot of people to come out and see something that they haven't seen. Make sure to support these amazing crews and the rest of the theater department by seeing Antigone on November 16th, 17th, and 18th. Thanks, Quinn. If you would like to see the production of Antigone, go to whstv.booktix.com to purchase a ticket. Showtimes are tomorrow at 4 and Friday and Saturday at 7.30. You don't want to miss this, WHS. If you would like to submit an announcement to be read, visit the BDTV page on the high school website. Follow us on Instagram at WHSBDTV. Have a wonderful Wednesday, WHS.